Do you right. remember what we'd just done? Um. Hello, 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 hello. We entered the next act. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right. We entered act four. Yeah. Um. We saw Ernie's murder. Right. Yep, yeah, and he's hang hanging from an exhibit. Yeah, uh, and then we went to his office and picked up a few things. Oh, and then we saw Steve and Yvette go have a massage. Is that what we just came out of, the angry altercation? I, I, think, I think it's that. Um... Madam, although your beauty eclipses, even that of the crystal blue waters of the Nile, I'm afraid I must insist that you refrain from handling the goods. <laughs> I'm behind you. Is this too close? Do we go back in there? Did, like, is that the last thing we did? Or is there anything else going on in there? I think we, we just go back in. We this went in is... there. We went in there and then they locked the door. <laughs> um, what have we got? Was there anything we were trying to achieve? We got the dagger. Yeah, we've got we the dagger. We give it to no him. Cares, no one cares about that anymore. While this well, he, uh, he should care. I've forgotten. What's my tool key? I yeah. am not in nope, the he's not in the mood to chit chat, but he is in the mood to be interviewed. Uh, things. Ah, the dagger. Such a great loss to my country. First to have it stolen from the temple, then from Egypt, and now this. When will it end? When will it return to its rightful place? Right now. No, no follow up. Okay. No, we're not going to go. We've got it. We really aren't giving information about the dagger. That's just not important. <laughs> no. No. Clearly. Game's named after it, but no one cares apart from saying they care. Uh... You already. Oh, silly female. I feel like. Hmm. Was it these paintings they said were fake? Yeah. Part before the. When you touch the painting, you smear a bit of the paint as if it's still damp. Damp? Damp? Oh no, it's damp. Oh. <laughs> we wouldn't like that. Um, even if they were fake, does that mean they're like painting them right now? That's that's pretty stupid. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. They they just and replace. They them paint up. them fresh, hang them up straight away, and go. That'll dry. <laughs> and then move on. That does seem like a bit of a crazy move. I mean, that just looks like a eighties album cover. <laughs> that could be Richard Marx. Right. Do you have any ideas of what we should be trying next? I'm trying to think if there's any meetings that... Because we could miss time now, it skipped time. Oh yeah, should we go hide behind that curtain? That seems... Yeah, is, this, is there that? I was gonna... I feel like there was a meeting that we heard get arranged. I'm gonna check my notes. Okay. We are detectives after all. We are detectives, and not even though I wouldn't say I've been doing much detectiving in this specific game. <laughs> You've been asking a lot of questions. I haven't been writing a lot down, though. Um, Should we be piecing it all together? I'm not sure we're getting anything. I think... What's the... Oh, we don't know the time. We never know the time. Is it near three? Yeah, it seems like it was getting on. Like, Cause... It, we went to a meeting at one, didn't we? Yeah, that was one of the meetings we did see, one o'clock. And then some then that shizzle the went last... down. Yeah, since we've moved to another act, I imagine there's been a bit of a time You're skip. in the pterodactyl. Um, You're in the pterodactyl. I think... You're in the pterodactyl. I, 
think three o'clock is preservation is room. I don't know between who and who. This suspended the pterodactyl mm -hmm. from the ceiling, giving it the appearance of soaring high above the floor. How ironic. After untold millions of years, this pterodactyl has claimed a new victim. A male specimen of... I think I've heard that. What's that? Hairs? That's hairs, right? This is one of the three wires. You pull the thin wire. It remains steadfastly attached to the pterodactyl. You got wire cutters now, don't you? A pair of heavy duty wire cutters. Hmm. The wire cut okay. You pick it up and oh. place it in your purse. Interesting. What do we need this for? I have no clue. Um. Cool. Right. Well, we've, we've got we've, a bit of we water. solved the game. <laughs> what are we? Um. Yeah, I think I think the weird preservation room. Oh, okay. Liquids. Is in the liquids room. Liquids yeah. room. <laughs> the room of unusual liquids. I would call it the pickling center. I mean, I like that name. That's a good name. Strange center for a museum, but fine. I think that's if if we're close to three, I think that's what we need to. That's where we need to go. Can we like? Do we have to hide? Oh, it's three. Hey, yeah, nice. Or are we not going to hide that? I guess. I hope so. Can we like hide around here or something? No. Oh. Nothing's happened. This feels like the hiding place. I don't know. The last time that sort of thing happened, the meeting just started in front of us, and they were like, "Why are you here?" Hmm. Then what's the trigger? Maybe that was the trigger. Maybe that's just what well, us, as in us being here, was enough to not have it happen. Like maybe we should have gone the secret passage. Yeah, potentially. Or maybe, maybe just, you know, nobody showed up. Because the secret passage takes you out this way, doesn't it? Yeah, it does, yeah. Is it worth restarting and trying again? Because we haven't I done know, much. It doesn't look like... Um, it, it depends on whether that was supposed to be like a nobody turned up. Or a... Or a we've, we've messed it up. Well, but only... as in, like, surely, surely we'd have seen someone come in and go, "What are you doing here?" No, I don't know. I, know I feel like there's meeting. two ways into this room, and I don't see what the point of the secret passage is, unless it could be used to approach from an unexpected direction. I think we give it a try because I'd quite like to see it if it's All possible, right. and we haven't done very much um, at all. That's down then isn't it oh you want to get that wire as well do you reckon i can go back for it after yeah probably which was the that it passage was down i think this one okay if that's correct so it requires the torch to be on To do, to do, to do. Oh, no. 
Didn't trigger three o'clock. No. This time. Unless you go in there and then listen with your glass. Yeah, maybe. So we what well, we've kind of hit here early. Let's see if we can trigger it. You hear nothing of it. You hear nothing. This is the story. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I, I think likely that just means no one shows up, right? Is that? Yeah, I guess so. So who were the people that were meant to be showing up? I, I haven't actually read that down. <laughs> um, I already wrote that three o'clock. Was a meeting in the thing, eh? I don't, I don't exactly remember what, who. We're gonna crack this case wide open. <laughs> yeah. Right. So, who do you think did it? Um, I, we, yeah, uh, I think it was. What's that? The subject of this sculpture looks curiously familiar. The odd statue feels like it's made of cheap, quick-drying plaster. The sculpt... The sculpt... What do I need to do? To like... The subject of... Alright, I'm gonna go get my wire and then I'm back for you in a minute. Do you think that's a vet? It could be. Well, it's a woman. Yeah, it's clear, yeah. I guess it could be Miklos. Miklos is... Oh, I've just went straight past the thing I was trying to do. You pick it up. Yeah, who did you think? No, no, I think it is... Oh, who did the murders? Yeah. Um, I thought it was um, Detective O'Reilly. Oh, the subject yeah. of this sculpture looks curiously familiar. But I was hoping it was um, the odds Ramsey's Najir. Okay. But I think it's Detective O'Reilly. Wow. Nice. You boned it. <laughs> she boned everyone. <laughs> I'm very delayed. Oh, I'll have those. Don't touch it. No, I will. Don't touch. <laughs> Maybe it's magnifying glass. Could be magnifying glass or eyes. No. There appears to be a fingerprint on one of the lenses of the bifocals. Although you have no way to identify it. Can you take those now that, uh... You pick oh, it up and now place huge. it in your purse. <laughs> now they're huge. Now I've run my magnifying glass over them. Red hairs. You pick it up and place it in your purse. Red hairs in her hands. So, any... Examining? Oh yes. The scarf clearly isn't a scarf. It's the silk hosiery Yvette was wearing earlier in the evening. Her neck under the scarf shows red friction burns, as if she was strangled. This makes you wonder if she died during a passionate moment, or had simply developed the habit of wearing silk hose around her neck. Probably the second yes. one. Yeah. Upon close inspection, you see nothing new here. No split ends. There is plaster in all of the openings on Yvette's face. Mouth, nostrils, eyes, ears. 
she has several scratches on her face, as well as cuts on her lips. Oh dear. What a way to go. Strangled, then made into a statue, like she's in Bioshock. Yvette's face feels stiff from rigor mortis. A bit of plaster dust comes off on your finger when you touch her cold skin. Straight in the eye. Yvette's face... No, we don't Yvette... get the details. Yvette's face... Yvette's bare, plaster-dusted, dead flesh feels stiff and cold. Yvette's left hand is... Yvette's right hand is... St <laughs> Everyone's stiff and cold. Do you think we're done? I, I, yeah, I guess. Um, should I guess should we go to our room, then? Yeah. Because that's the last place we saw. Meanwhile... We've, we've not had a, a, a... What's that? Countess, why are you tied up on my desk? Your face has certainly changed to an attractive pale colour, my dear. Is she an imbecile? You seem a little under the weather. Isn't she wrapped are up in okay? her own snake? <laughs> Oh dear, you don't look well at all. O'Reilly! Oh. You want Mr. O'Reilly? Okay, just wait right here and I'll go get him. <laughs> Hello, Miss Bo. Do you know where Mr. O'Reilly is? Well, no, not exactly. I assume he's still in the museum. Well, I'll find him. If you see him first, would you tell him that the Countess is dying on the desk in my office? The Countess is what the dying? Hell? What's wrong with her? Well, she's looking rather pale. Her eyes are glazed, and she's not breathing much. I'd guessed she'd been bitten by a snake. By a snake? Must you keep repeating everything I say? In any case, <laughs> I've got yeah, to go Yeah, we're home. the stupid one. Wasn't she wrapped in a snake? Uh, yeah, from what I could see, she was wrapped in a snake. So she's like, oh, she might have been bitten by a snake. She looks like she's nearly dead. Such as the one around her. Oh no, what is that then? Is it rope? Oh. Right, snake, and then yeah. snake. Yeah, I guess snake and then snake. While this is... While this... Well, how did we avoid... How did we not dodge that attack? <laughs> yeah, I know. When am I ever going to learn? Maybe you need more? to use the snake be gone more. Yeah, more snake be, be gone. Because it looked like it moved the snake. Mm, do I need to move it all the way to the cage? Yeah, I would guess so. Come on. Snake be gone. That's it. I'm out of oil. Now what? Uh... Nice. Back in you go. Safe. So what is that then? I don't oh, know. Let's take a closer look. 
It's just rope. It looked like a snake, but it's rope. Plus, plus grapes. Yeah, grapes. Hang on. A little bunch of grapes. Chilled, you remember something about grapes being found alongside the victims of Jack the Ripper. Didn't someone say something about someone eating grapes all the time? Yeah, someone did say something about someone eating grapes all the time. It was O'Reilly, I think. Yeah. And she said, oh, I mean, right, okay, it's O'Reilly then. Yeah. Right. You pick it up. Alright. We got the dagger, we know who it is. Let's, uh, go home. <laughs>